Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's talk about how to show all games play between n number of teams along with all the team combinations like this. If you are new here, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. If I select any number of teams from this slicer, I can see how many games will be played and what are all those games. This is a very tricky example of DAX measure in Power BI and we will create it from scratch. After watching this, you will be amazed to know the amazing capabilities of multi-level loop kind of structure in a DAX measure. Let's jump into a new Power BI file and start creating this feature. First of all, I will create a numeric parameter range to select number of teams from the slicer. I can choose any range starting from one to a maximum number. Since create slicer is already checked, so it will automatically add a slicer on my report page. Using this, I can select any number of teams. Let me increase a little bit of its size and add visual border to this slicer. First thing is to calculate total number of games. And then I will show you how you can show all the games between teams. I will create the first measure for this. The simple formula to calculate this is selected value multiplied by selected value minus one and then divided the total by two but this will just show you how many games will be played between n number of teams. For example, total six games will be played between four teams. And I can choose any number of teams, and it will calculate the total games played. But this is very easy. The next measure will blow your mind. Once we will create the measure to show all those games between teams. Let's create it. So my new measure name is all games. My first variable is team size which is just the selected value from the slicer. Next variable is a table. And here I will use generate series function to generate numbers from one till team size. Before I write my return expression, let me show you a very important concept because I am going to use this at least at three to four places inside my return statement, which is if I create a table with generate series, it creates the column name as value. And this name I am going to use in multiple different ways. This is very tricky but I will try my best to explain you the concept. So, I am again into my incomplete measure. And here first of all I will write a first concatenate x function. Inside it, I will mention my table argument. And then let me show you if I just mention value in its second argument, then what it shows. As that you can see, it just concatenates all the values from the series. But I don't need this value. It means I need to loop one more time with another concatenate x function with next set of values. Since I also need to stop the grouping at the end of my team size, so I will mention a condition, which says, if values is equal to team size, then stop. Otherwise, first value is an icon concatenated with the value. You can use any icon or unicar codes. Let us see what this code returns. As that you can see, it returns the concatenated values from one to three because we have mentioned the condition to, not to show our last value. Now let merge this value with another concatenate x function, where the table will start from value plus one and will end with the end of the team size. The second argument of this concatenate x function is mind blowing. This time if I mention value, it means it starts from two and ends with team size on each iteration because my table starts with value plus one. In delimiter argument, I will mention the same previous value, which is an icon and the value from the previous table which starts from one, not two. When I was doing my research on this, I was amazed to see this capability where we can treat the same value as one externally, but internally it is two. To show a separator, we can also add a hyphen before this value. And now we are ready with our solution. You can format this based on your requirements or use any other visual like a table visual and start using this. I hope I was able to explain you the concept behind this DAX measure. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.